Hi everyone, it's me Lisa from Lisa Needs and Flogs. Well, it's day three of Lisa's Knit Race. And I'm doing the Garter Stitch Stripe Scarf. I've been enjoying doing this. It is a really lovely pattern. It is beginner knit, beginning knitting. So it's just knit and purl. It's telling you to use the Click Eaton Country 8 ply. Or you can do the Country Naturals 8 ply. I'm not using this one. I'm doing the man's one. It's the width is approximately 16. The length is approximately 180. You can use five 50 gram balls, but my skeins that I use are 100 grams. Needles and extras. The tension. And yes, I am using a 4.5 knitting needle. A scarf. Uh, special abbreviations, the tips, there's the pattern, and then to knit up, and here's the graph. I cast on 33 stitches, it's 176 centimeters, and 60 blocks in total, and I'll tell you about the, the, the blocks right now, but... Here is where I'm up to so far. From here to here is day one. Here to here is day two. From here. All the way to here is day three. So there's one, two, and three. And we start off with casting on 33 stitches. We knit the first row and in rows 1 to 14 we slip the first stitch, we knit. Slip the first stitch, we knit. We do that all the way through on this one. That's why we get the guard stitch here. This is where the blocks come in. Row 1 we slip and we knit. Row 2 we slip and we purl. Row 3, we slip and we knit. Row 4, we slip and we purl. Rows 5 through to 10, we always slip the first stitch and knit. Always knit the first, slip the first stitch and knit. And then the blocks are the same all the way through until I get to 60. So far I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine blocks. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 blocks. And they changed colour from a deep purple to a lighter purple to lighter again to lighter. I need to do another 21 blocks. And yes, I do have a tail because I need to start on a new skein of yarn. Now, what I do is, when what the pattern tells you to do is, you slip the first stitch, you knit two, and then you add your new skein. And then I'll slip this one, and I'll purl back. And then that way, when I go to, when I do these three, I get to sew them in here, so then that way you don't get the chance to see you keep here all straight. That's what I what I need to do. So I will be starting on a new skein later that I will be doing. That's why there's a tail and then I will sew it in when I'm finished. Now the yarn that I use is called Elif. E L I I'm guessing that's an F or a T. I'm not really 100% sure. It was donated to me, or given to me from a lady from the knitting club. 
She didn't like it because she felt seen that it felt scratchy. I haven't had a problem with it. It's a thick yarn. There's not much really to say about it. It just is made in Turkey, 100% acrylic. And there's, there's no colour number or dye lot number. There's the care instructions. So you don't know too much about this, but I just know it's 100 gram and it's 100%. And I will show you what the what the colour looks like. She gave me four skeins of these, but this is how I've got it. So it starts off with the dark colour in the middle and then works out to this light colour. That's why I've got a, quite a few different shades. So I got four of these. I got one more to go after this one. So this one and I might use a little bit of the other one because I'm already up to it. I got to do block 40 to 60. So that is 21 so block so it should do do this one and maybe do that one as well. I'm not sure as yet. So I do hope you get the chance to like and comment and I will see you around on the YouTube streets. Happy creating!